This video is for educational and information purposes only. Mutual funds and stocks talked in this video are purely used as examples. This video is not meant for advice or recommendation purpose. Hi guys, I am CA Simran Surana from Alice Blue and in today's video we are going to be talking about TBO Tech Limited which is coming up with an IPO. So do watch the entire video. In case if you're new to our channel, please do subscribe to our channel and do not forget to click on the bell icon to get updates of the upcoming video. Incorporated in 2006 as Tech Travels Private Limited, the company has conceptualized TBO platform as a technology to simplify the process for travel travel agents to book airline tickets through various airlines the company runs on two business models one is b2b and the second one is commission model in b2b they receive inventory from various suppliers then they add their markup and then sell it to the buyers and in the commission model the supplier fixes the selling rate and they earn commission on it the entire transaction involves two type of parties one is the supplier and the second one is the buyer hotels airline companies car rental company insurance crews and others are collectively called as suppliers the second category is the buyers and which is subdivided into two type of buyers one is the retail buyer and the second one is an enterprise buyer retail buyers are travel agencies and independent travel advisor whereas enterprise buyers are online travel companies travel management companies tour operators super apps loyalty apps etc the company has grown into a business in such a way that currently they have a global presence and have served suppliers and buyers in more than 100 countries now talking about the financials of the company the revenue of the company has increased from 141 crores as on 31st march 2021 to 1061 crores as on 31st march 2023 obviously the two years cannot be compared because the revenue of 2020 one was affected by the global shutdown caused by covid-19 the profit figures have increased from a loss of 34 crores as on 31st march 2021 to a profit of 148 crores as on 31st march 2023 which shows the efficiency of the company the third point is that the cash flow from operating activities have remained positive throughout the period that is the company was able to generate positive cash flows even at covid-19 periods indicating an optimum operational efficiency of the company Now talking about the risk involved in the business the first one is that a major portion of the revenue comes from two segment that is hotel and airline segment almost 67% of the current revenue comes from these two segments so any adverse impact on these segments is going to impact the financial condition of the company the second is that the company operates in a very competitive market and there are many players so it is definitely a question of survival of the fittest the third point is that the company company belongs to an industry which fluctuates with the global economic conditions so any situation like covid-19 repeats again in the future then the economic and the financial condition of the company is going to be impacted the fourth point is that the company and the managing directors have received show cause notice from the ed and compounding applications are in process consequently any regulatory actions either against the company or the managing directors is going to impact the operations financial conditions and most importantly will impact the reputation of the company now talking about the details of the issue the company is coming up with an ipo whose total size is 1550 crores out of this 400 crores is through fresh issue of new shares and the balance 1150 crores is to the offer for sale the company has various objective in mind with the money raised the first one is to increase their supplier and buyer base the second one is to have inorganic growth via acquisitions and strategic business synergies the third one is that the company plans to amplify its platform and strengthening it by adding new line of businesses the open date is 8th of may the close date is 10th of may listing date is 15th of may the minimum lot size is 16 shares and the price band is between 875 to 920 rupees per share so that is all about the ipo i will see you in the next video until then stay safe stay healthy bye Investments in securities markets are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.